Um, Ashton Bright on Facebook. How do you stay motivated between two careers? Because I am not where I want to be. You know, I'm not where I want to be. There's there's a lot of things on my list that I've set out to achieve. You know, music wise, I want to achieve. You know, the, I want to sell tons of records if I can. Uh, YouTube, I want to get as many subscribers as I can. I want to get a million views on every video if I can. Uh, in boxing, I want to be t on top of the sport. I want to. I want people to type in Google wherever box rec, whatever rankings you want to check and see that they're really sitting at the top. And until that is the case, I can't rest. So that's what keeps me motivated. It's just that if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it properly or I ain't going to do it at all. Cool. Santello Boxing on Instagram. Where's your dream place to fight? Oh, well, I have, to, I have to say I'd love to fight at home. And not at home meaning just in London, but I mean there's a big um, – Football stadium, we call it football, you call it soccer, but there's a big stadium near my house that's just been newly renovated. It's my home football team, soccer team. Um, so I'd love to fight there. You know, that's 60,000, 62,000 people. I'd love to fight somewhere where I knew I only grew up five minutes away from, from where that stadium is built. So that would be my dream venue to box at. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be great. Um, that would be great. Razor Brune on Instagram what are your thoughts on Shannon Briggs? <laughs> What's up, Tim? Uh, no, you know, as I said, me and Shannon, I don't, I can sleep at night and not worry about Shannon. You know, uh, he's a he's a cool guy. He's an entertainer, and we bounced off each other really well in the promotion for KSI and Logan too. And he definitely gave the event that ignition to have its side story and a feud between the coaches. And I, and I have to thank Shannon for that. I have to respect Shannon for that. Without him, I wouldn't have got as much publicity as I did from that event. So shout out to Shannon. Obviously, me and him are not friends to a point where I'm going to text him and thank him for it. But if he's watching, then he's lucky. He, he can hear the thank you because I ain't saying it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Liam16... On Insta on Instagram, as it re as it relates to athletes being rappers, who do you think is the best out there in the game? The best rapper in the game right now, as a, who's that, an athlete, as an as a uh, best rapper in the game that's an athlete. I don't know. That's a good question. I All know right, Damian that's Lillard. Easy. I know. I know Damian Lillard is good. Yeah, that, and there you go. The buck stops right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah Damian Lillard. Dame, he, Dame, he, Dame's on a whole nother level by himself. And I wouldn't even consider, I wouldn't put the, the, the two together, the athlete and the rapper. Dame makes great music. Now, he, he yeah, has no, my he boy does. also, too, but he makes great music. So you're biased. You're biased. That means you're no, biased. No, I'm not biased. Mm, nope, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. He, 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 he's, he's a very, very good artist. And, you know, he's very passionate about, you know, that he, the same way he yeah. is about putting in that work with his game. But uh, he, he makes uh, great like, No, Damien, Damien Lillard is the best rapper that's an athlete until my next album drops. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can, well, the fans can't wait to see what, you, what you're coming with. That's coming. It's going to be, it's going to be very different, but it's going to be fire. I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you. Cool. Cool. Kobe Hart, Carvey. I'm from the UK, but all you inspired me to box. What Thank tips you, do you have that I can continue? Um, first of all, whenever I hear that I've inspired someone to start boxing, I think they're crazy because it is a really it's a crazy sport to want to throw yourself into. But it's also a very humbling thing to hear um, that I can have that influence on someone. So thank you uh, for that. Um, and to answer your question. I'd say the thing that can improve you is going to be your jab. I know you haven't perfected your jab yet if you're listening because that takes years to do. There's all different types of jabs. There's all different ways to throw it. So I would say make sure you dedicate your time into perfecting your jab and when to use it, what type of jab to use and when to use it, and uh, that will improve your game. 
Yeah, yeah. It's definitely, definitely is all about the timing of it. And, and like yep. you said, you can use it in so many ways as a range finder, every, every, in, in so many different ways, and it sets up everything else. That's the and main it, thing. And, it sets and up it's a everything. means of controlling your opponent yep. at any given time. Yep. At any given time. And it's definitely um, something that's underutilized for a lot of fighters. Yeah, it's not the most... It's not the most eye-catching punch. It's not the most exciting punch. Like, it's not an uppercut or a hook, but it's what sets those punches up. Um, so, yeah, I'd, I'd say to any fighter that's, that's listening that uh, has been inspired to start recently, make sure you don't overlook that punch and try and get into all the fancy stuff. Perfect your job. Cool. Tyson Oliver on Instagram, who has been your toughest opponent in the amateurs? <sighs> Ooh, good question. Oh, I have to think now. I have to think. Toughest opponent in the amateurs. Um, oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I would say uh, I boxed a guy. I, I forgot his name. I forgot his first name, but he's from. He was from Bulgaria. It was in the Youth Olympics in the quarterfinals. And he was the world number one at the time. This is when I was 17. So this is the Youth Olympic, 17 years old. He just won the world championships two months or three months before we went to the Youth Olympics. So he's going into this tournament, world number one, full of confidence. And he was an awkward counter puncher. You know, very quick hands, good balance, good footwork. And um, he ended up beating me. I don't think he won the fight, and I always put my hands up. If I if I believe I lost, I will tell you I lost. But that fight, I don't know. I thought I won the fight. That was definitely my hardest fight. I was thinking every minute of the round of every round. Um, but that was my toughest fight uh, as an amateur. It was fighting the world number one at the Youth Olympics. Cool. Did you gain a lot of experience from that fight? Oh, a ton of experience because you realize. Uh, in the amateurs, the judging is different based on where you are. It's not a universal rule followed for the scoring. So boxing a certain way at home in the UK and then going to the world championships and boxing that same way, the judges don't appeal to the same thing. The Russian judge doesn't like what the judges in the UK normally like. He might like more aggression, for example. So that international experience taught me that the judges can vary. They can vary what they score on. And uh, that is the, the number one thing. I even take that into the pros as well. So that's my biggest learning. Uh, that's my biggest lesson from being an amateur boxer at a high level. Cool. Uh, Alicia, Nicole on Facebook, would you fight Logan Paul? No. Why do, guys, why do people do this to me? Why, why do people ask me these questions? We having fun with the fans. <laughs> why do people ask me these questions if the listen I'm telling you for a fact if the money is right I'm no, I'm knocking Logan Paul out cold cold if, okay. if, if, the, if they bring the right if they bring the right check it makes the right sense and the fight listen I'll, I'll do it at the end of the day I'm a prize that's fighter not there's a big, that's not even, if there's that's a, not even fair listen that's not, that's I'm a prize fair. fighter if there's a big enough prize then yeah, anyone yeah. can <laughs> <laughs> anyone can be in the way that's right. 